This tutorial is going to show how to use the equation editor in Google Docs. So let's say I was typing the area formula for a trapezoid is. So now I want to put my formula. So I'll go to insert and equation. And it starts with a equals. And then there's a fraction part. So this is where all uh, all the look, there's templates in here. So if I click on this one, and actually you'll see so the very first one's a fraction. So and it goes h, and then I type a bracket, and it goes a plus b. Close the bracket. Now to get down in the denominator, I could just click here, and I'll and put my two here. But if you're at the end up here, same at the end. If I right arrow, I'll go down the denominator as well. Okay. So there's the uh, uh, a formula. So let's say I wanted to let's say I wanted to type out the quadratic formula. So I'll go to insert equation and it's x equals need another fraction for this one. So back in here fraction. So it goes negative b. Now there's a plus or minus. So this is where all your symbols are. So in that one, so there's the plus or minus. And then I want a square root, so square root. So if you want like a cube root or something like that, or fifth root, something besides a square root, you can use this one. So click on that one, and it goes. Now I, it's b squared. So I want a uh, I want a power. So there's a power here. There's other ways to type it, but there's shortcuts. But this is this will work here just fine. So I type my b, and then if I right arrow, I'll get up to the exponent. So it's a two. And if I right arrow again, I get down from the exponent. So then it's it's a minus uh, 4ac. Now I'm actually inside the square root still. So if I if I right arrow, see now how the cursor got larger, and right arrow once again, I get down the denominator, and I can type my 2a. Uh, you could also just click there too. Now sometimes you might find that the um, See if this is grayed out, that means you haven't typed the insert equation yet. Um, there's a whole bunch of the Greek letters here, or like if you want pi, alpha, beta. Uh, these are a whole bunch of operators. Now notice there's a triangle, but there's no angle. So sometimes you might not have uh, access to a special character here. So if you go to insert special characters, there's a whole bunch of special characters here. So let's say I wanted an angle symbol. So uh, you just type it in here. So there's my angle symbol. Notice it just appeared there. And then you know I can type my ABC or something like that. So, so that's how the equation editor works. Uh, you can type just about anything you would see in a math textbook or, or online. And that's the end of the tutorial.